you're not the hater. They are. People who manipulate and practice dark arts such as witchcraft make you think it's you. You are not the hater. All right. You are not the one that feels badly towards anybody for no reason at all. There are those who have taken up an oath. All right. They have taken up a vow against you. They've taken up an oath against you because what you represent is too powerful, extremely powerful. And you may realize that or witness or, or take note that seems like the, it seems like there are masses or droves of people that seem to have an issue with you specifically. All right. And that's nothing you can control. But they'll, this is what manipulators do. Whatever they do, whatever they are doing that's not right, that's not good, they're going to want you to think. They're going to want you to think that you're the one that, they're going to want you to think that you're the problem when you're not. They're going to want you to think that you're the problem when you're, when you're not. And that you're the one that's the troublemaker. All right. I've had people say to me like, oh, here comes a troublemaker. And I know I'm not the one that was causing trouble. But the thing is, if you're a whistleblower, if you're someone that's not going to put up, if you're someone that's going to stand up, you know, you either got either going to put up or shut up. But if you're not going to put up with somebody's stuff, they'll have a problem with you, too, because you're a whistleblower. You're someone that they have an issue with because in your mind, in their mind, you're a subordinate. In in their mind, no, in their mind, you're a subordinate, but in your mind, you're much greater than that. You don't take on the idea, the role, the position, the mindset that they want you to, to benefit their view of you or how they interact with you. All right. They want you to view yourself from a, a role of, you know, being underneath or being on the bottom or being small. These are people who have the same uh, position as you. These are people who are in the same situation as you in life. All right. These are all kinds of people who should not be doing this or, or really don't have the right or, or the really don't have should be doing this, you know, but this is who they are as a person. And that's just how they um, that's how they operate with people who they view are weaker than them. So you're going to have people who are testing you and trying you because they're trying to make sure that you end up on the short end of this. They're trying to make sure that you end up uh, weaker than them or you end up in the in the one down position because like they want to have a certain amount of power over you from the jump, all right? And that that amount of power that they want to have over you is they want to be able to control your perception of you through the way that they manipulate you, all right? So they try to control your perception of you through the way that they manipulate you, right? Because you're not the hater. So they want to try to program you to think that you are because they actually are the one who has the problem, all right? They have to... They have to manage their image. All right. They do. They do what's called image management. They will be a corrupt, evil person. But on the surface, they look like they're, you know, a good one. But beneath the surface, the people that they deal with, primarily their targets, are the ones experiencing their wrath and are experiencing their, you know, their bullying, their negativity, their evil. So they know up front, up close and personal that this person is a piece of, you know what? This person is a piece of trash. And you're probably doing everything in your power to not take them out. All right. So this is why you got to stand up to people like this. All right. You have to stand up to people like this and let them know. So that way you can end it as soon as possible. All right. If you if you um, don't meet this with audacity, if you don't if you don't experiment with courage. All right. You got to if you 
are experiencing people that are doing you wrong, you need to do some experiments with courage. You need to do some um, experiments with being, uh, being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You have to, what's, I just had the word. You gotta, um, you gotta do some things. Uh, you gotta be a little audacious. You gotta be a little arrogant or quote unquote in street terms, you gotta be a little ignorant to people. All right, when, when people are testing you like that, you gotta be a little ignorant to them. You don't gotta get yourself in trouble or nothing like that, but you have you have to let them know that they can't do you that way. And sometimes the only thing that people understand or respect is ignorance. So it's like when you being this God loving person and trying to be cool with people and cordial and polite and all these things, they may not understand that or respect that. So it's like, and it may not turn. And most of the time, it's not gonna turn into what you think. It's gonna be like, oh, okay. They're going to get that understanding because it's like they see you as weak or, you know, as soft or punk. If you're not coming at them the way that, you know, a person is they the way they feel a person is supposed to handle a situation. It's people that, you know, handle situations differently in life. And sometimes you have to learn how to kind of low key handle a situation when there's different kinds of people. All right. There's certain people that's not going to understand. Hey, can you please stop? Or, hey, can you not bother me? There's people that's not going to understand that. There's only people that's going to understand you turning up on, on that a little bit. You, you can keep it on. Hey, you know, don't touch, don't bother me or leave me alone. Or, hey, uh, you, what you're doing is bullying me or, you know, or, yo, you're not going to keep bumping into me or whatever it is. You know, you can you can do that, but it's going to have to be a little, a little spice added to that just so they know, just so just so they understand. Cause that's the, that's literally sometimes the only thing some people understand. We don't know. We don't all come from come from the same background. If you babysitting your sister's kids and they come from a different background, and you like, hey, uh, bad kids, stop acting up, and they keep acting up. You think another, hey, bad kids, stop acting up is gonna help? No. Them kids trying to, uh, you know, them them kids trying to run game on you. They see what time it is. They heard you. People people know what they're doing. Just like kids know what they're doing. People know what they're doing. In some cases. You know, kids don't know what they're doing, and in some cases, people don't know they're being offensive. All right, but and and when when you when 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 you are trying to get something across to someone or get something done, or you know it's some foul play at hand, you can smell it in the air. All right, you can you can feel it in the air. You know, when you know, you know. All right, when you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. Don't be slow. Don't be slow. You slow. I don't know. I was going to try to say. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, man. Look, I do know this, though. Um, you're not the hater. All right. I do know that. You're not the hater. That's crazy, right? They want you to feel um, like you hate them. That's wild. That's wild. And the thing is, here's the thing. They get here's how they get you to care about that. If you're somebody that does you they they get you to care about here's how here's how people manipulate people who don't care they get you to care about things they they manipulate you by using things against you they know that you care about so what you have to do is figure out how to not care about things that you care about if you care about they know you care about not being a bad person they know that's the last thing you want to be or be considered so what they'll do is they'll make you feel that way so you'll feel bad about yourself some people will do that to try to get you to do what they want. Like, oh, you're you're not my friend or, oh, you're not this or you don't love me or this, that, the other. They'll try to do that to, to, to manipulate you to get you to do what they want. Because if you're not doing it, then you don't feel this way or you don't care or you're not really helping them or whatever. They can come up with crazy to try to get people to do something. Or you'll have people who just want to inflict emotional damage on you and get you to think bad or feel bad about yourself if... If they can control you that way by inviting you to the party, you don't have to be invited to the party. You can decide it ain't that kind of party. All right. Like Les Brown likes to say, ain't that kind of party. All right. You you can um, not you can choose to not invite yourself to the way other people want you to feel. Somebody could rub something in your face that you you, you, you could have just gotten to. You just you just could have lost something yesterday. God forbid. They could have a nice new shiny one right there just to rub it in your face. It could be sitting there waiting for you. Hey, hello. How are you? You know, you don't have to be invited into feeling bad. You got to do some alchemy and you got to work on how you got to think a different thought immediately. 
and go up from the feelings of sadness and, and uh, uh, worry and negativity. You have, you have to go up from that. People want to, con- you don't even have to deal with how you feel certain times. You can just go up from that. Now, I'm not dealing with that. I'm choosing to feel this way. You have people trying to program how you feel because you're too happy and they don't like it. So what they're trying to do is program how you feel because you are a happy person. You are someone that feels good. You're someone that loves your life. So what they're trying to do is program you to feel like them because it makes them feel better because they don't know how to feel how you do. And they're not going to they're not going to humble themselves and ask because they feel that they are better than you. But they're always watching. And that proves and shows you that they're supposed to be learning from you in the damn first place. But they're too, they're too egotistical to admit that. You're the master. You know, you're, you're the, the ancient master, you know. That's you. The chosen one. Alright, so you're definitely not the hater, man. There are people who are mad at, at your gifts, mad at your talents, mad at your capabilities. You can you you can you can do so much. All you have to do is put your mind to it. That's why a lot of people want you to feel badly about yourself because they don't want you to they don't want to see you accomplish your goals right before their eyes. They don't like you thinking highly of yourself. They don't like you feeling good about yourself. They don't like you um, thinking different about yourself than they think. Are some people you know they got a, a mind full of negatives? Just just stored up waiting for you to project onto you. You should feel this way. I don't want you to feel that way. No, we won't feel however the hell we want because you, you can feel however the hell you want by programming your mind and not letting other people do it. Somebody's going to program you. Either you're going to do it or somebody else is going to do it. And other, other people will try. Other people can try. But at the end of the day, it's your mind. You know, and and some people they make it a game. Some people, and and that's that's why you have people that do things like that because they make it a game. Phone died. They make it a game to try to try to um, make sure that you're not able to enjoy your life. That's the whole aspect of this is getting you to not enjoy your life. You're not the hater. They want to control you and get you to think badly about yourself. They know that you're a good person. They know that you want to see people win. They know you want to see other people do well. So what they'll do is they they present certain feats and certain accomplishments and put certain things in, in your face to make you to make to make up for how they feel towards you but they do it in a way that makes you not appre- not be able to appreciate it so you're not a hater you just can't appreciate the way that they're presenting their greatness to you and people can present their achievements feats accomplishments however they want but you have people who actually are cocky all right who in, in a negative way all right, there's nothing wrong with being cocky in a positive way. I am that dude. I am, I am, you know, whatever. I am, I am, I am. All right, there's nothing wrong with arrogance and cockiness in that sense. You're upping yourself. You're uplifting yourself. That's what you're supposed to do. But when you have it in, when you have it in toxic forms where other people are trying to use you, the uplifter, to uplift them, which is going to put you down, they're trying to step on you to get up instead of, instead of, uh, stepping on a stepping stone and getting up or or stepping instead of stepping up they're trying to step on you and and get to where you're at or pass you instead of stepping up they they like instead of stepping up in their life they like stepping on people in their life they they looking for somebody to step on so it, 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 the one thing they know you don't the one thing they know you have right the one thing they know you cherish the one thing they know you hold near and dear, your superpower, is the fact that how you feel towards other people, but they want to turn that into a negative thing for you because they know you're a positive person. All right, they know you're a positive person. They know you're working towards becoming great, and they know that you don't have hate in your heart. 
they have hate or they have some type of jealousy or animosity in their heart and they can sense that you don't have that for them. And when people can sense that you don't have that for them, but they have that for you, the, the, the misery loves company. And they're not going to want to be alone in that jealousy that they have. They're going to want somebody else to have it too, especially towards them. Our love and hate works both ways. People who have hate for you want you to have hate for them. They don't want you to like them because they don't like you. The nicer you are to them, you're, you're actually causing an, a lot of damage and pain to people. That's why they try to make it hard for you to not like them. The, 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 the easier it is for you to like them, the weaker they feel they are. They feel very strong when they can repel you and they don't like and you don't like them. That's when they feel their strongest. That's when they'll smile in your face and it confuses you because you feel like you have a problem with them, but you don't. They're the ones that caused you to have a problem with them because they created the negative energy gap between you and them. That they created that negative space. You you came at them with none but love. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Eventually, you know, that turned into them trying to make you feel some type of way and manipulate you into not being able to appreciate them and who they are because they presented themselves in an evil they pre <laughs> they presented themselves in an evil wicked way. They presented themselves in an evil wicked way. All right? So, you'll have individuals that will do that who will present themselves in a way to where they make it impossible for you to like them because they don't want you to. You know that when you're nice to them, not the stupid nice, but when you're cordial, excuse, let's use that word, when you're cordial with, with, with the people that have disdain for you, it makes them feel weak and it shows how powerful and strong you are. They don't like that because they're not getting to you at that point. You're above the dynamic that they set up between you and them. So they want to try to get, a, they want to try to find a way to get in between that power that you have over them, which is not hating them, which is, which is not being a hater. That's just, they know that's just, they know that's one of your strongest powers. So it's like, they'll purposely try to, you know, get you to feel some type of way towards them because they feel some type of way towards you. And when, when you're operating in that strength of, I can, I can do something for myself. Why would I feel some type of way about somebody doing something for themselves? When you're operating in that, you know, it, it, it's bothersome because so the people that think like that, they feel that everybody's supposed to think like that. Just like how we think the way we think and we think everybody's supposed to think the way we think, which is false, major false alert, false, false alert. You know, um, that's just not the case. There's, there's different mindsets out here. But the thing is, certain people respect that. Certain people respect that. They either, you know, either embrace it and deal with it or they just go off and chill somewhere. But that's when you'll have. That's when you'll have people try to make you a hater. You know, you you go off and choose peace. They're going to find you and try to make you hate. I see you over there hiding. You're going to hate on me. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that's what had to happen for us to interact, okay? It's like you interacting with them in a peaceful way makes them feel weak because you're, you're able to operate in your strength. You're able to operate in a way that makes you feel good and it intimidates them. Your strength intimidates them. Your power intimidates them. The fact that you're not, you know, feeling towards them the same way they're feeling towards you, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's why they have to try to make you feel that way in the first place. But you're, you're not a hater. All right, I came here to tell you that somebody needs this cleared up. All right, you're not a hater. You know, somebody, somebody needs to know that you don't feel the way towards other people the way you think you do. You just can't appreciate the way that they're presenting themselves. And they're presenting themselves that way on purpose to try to get you to feel some type of way, to try to get you to have hate for them. That's what they're up to. It's a, it's a real sneaky way of trying to be better than somebody else. But that's that whole one upping, narcissistic one upping, toxic one upping, trying to be better than other people. That's the whole, you know, competition thing. You know, they got to compete with somebody. They got they got to be better than somebody. Especially the person that's just falling back and chilling. That's not trying to be better than nothing or nobody other than himself or herself. 
So we got, I know some ladies out there that want to be great. Y'all dealing with it. There's some fellas out there that want to be great. Y'all dealing with it. Everybody that wants to be great is dealing with this stuff. But the thing is, we're overcoming it, though, because we know that deep down inside, we're not the hater. We're working on ourselves. We're praying. We're educating ourselves. We're staying positive. It ain't us. I'm here to tell you today, it ain't you. I'm sorry. You know, sorry what they try to set up in your mind is about to fail. I'm, I'm sorry they feel some type of way towards you, but it ain't you feeling some type of way towards them. I'm just letting you know. They don't got to like it. Nobody got to like it. But it ain't you feeling some type of way towards them. It's them feeling some type of way toward you. It's them feeling some type of way toward you. You're choosing peace. You're, you're, you're working on, you, you, you are going to become a pyramid by the time they get done dealing with you. You're going to be a diamond of, of, of by the time they get done dealing with you, a piece of refined silver or gold because of all the pressure that you're under. All you're doing is you're, you're choosing to make yourself better, whether you react, whether you, you get fired, whether, you know, something bad happened because of it. You, you, no matter how many times you get, uh, get set back, you're always setting yourself up for a comeback. A setback is a setup for a comeback. Shout out to Les Brown again. That's my OG right there. He may not know it, but we all do on this channel. That's the OG of this channel. One of them. There's many OGs to this channel. All right. Shout out to all the OGs out there. What up, Darren? What up, Dimitri? Wick, what's good? What's happening? Cammy, what up? All right, what up all, all, all the people that resonate, all right? All, all the resonators out there, all the vessels out there. I know you I know I know you right here with me. Brittany Evans, everybody. All right. I just need a whole list of names. Just shout them all out. <laughs> but um we're not the haters, y'all. We're not. You know, they 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 could they could make you think you're a hater, you're not. They could try to program to feel you, make you feel you're a hater. You're not. And they get a kick out of making you not like them for either having something or being something or doing something. What's the point of trying to make someone not like you because you can do something? What type of power is that? He doesn't like me because I'm, I can do this. He doesn't like me because they feel that way because they don't like you for something. You're not trying to make them not like you because anything you got going on. Some people just naturally don't like people because of what they got going on. But then, unfortunately, in turn, there's a dark side to that. You got to deal with um, those who want you to feel some type of way towards them because they feel some type of way towards you. That's, the, that's the, the polar opposite of that thing. That's the dynamic of it. But you can be unbothered by it. You, you can choose to not see it. You can choose to not entertain it. You can choose to let them do all the weird stuff they want to do and you can still be cool, have fun, enjoy your life right up underneath them, around them, in their face, in the same room, in the upper room, whatever room, all right? Not whatever room, all right? Just, you know, certain rooms is off limits. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go in it. But um, if it's a room you can go into and they're there, all right? Certain rooms they're in, or you probably wouldn't want to be there. Certain rooms they're in, if you, you're there and they're there, and it's, it's just a thing that just happens that way, you know, be unbothered. Totally. T -t -t totally do. All right? Because there's it's some, it's some foolishness going on out here, and we don't like it. All right, so we're, we're going to continue to do us easily and effortlessly, y'all. We're going to continue to do us easily and effortlessly and continue to, to rise on up above all this stuff, you know, because we're, we're done dealing with this from a point of defeat. We're done dealing with this from a point of being a victim. We're done dealing with this from a point of helplessness and hopelessness. We don't have to give up. We don't have to lose. We don't have to be affected, upset and offended. We don't have to be that. And we're not going to. Whatever thoughts they want us to think, we don't have to think that way. Your feelings can create a thought, but guess what? Your thought can create a feeling. They can make you feel a certain way or make you think a certain thing, but you can rethink it and refeel it. You could eliminate negative thoughts and feelings at any time of the day, whenever anybody is around. I don't care if the, the negative person is still there. You can be unaffected by them. 
you can you can have a level of love for this person to where whatever they're trying to bother you with can't touch you. You know what? They're gonna come around and be negative. Well, guess what? I got I'm gonna love the hell out of them. I'm going to love the hell out of them. I'm gonna have so much love for them that I don't even feel I don't even feel what they're trying to bring this way. And that the more you can, the more you're able to work on you and to feel good in the presence of, of bad energy and to call down heaven in the presence of hell, you're gonna, your, your manifestation power is becoming elite. Your manifestation power is becoming its strongest. All right. You're, you're going to be you're going to be getting what you want left and right. It can't help but come into your life when you have it in your mind. That's why they're trying to constantly stay in your mind because they want you to constantly be focused on them so that way you constantly have to keep dealing with people like them. Somebody knows something. The entity using them, the head narc in charge, somebody knows something. You know, the evil spirit possessing them, somebody knows something. All right. But now you know something too watching this video. Now, you know something, too, watching this video, all right? They, they don't like positive, happy people standing up for, for, for uh, uh, something and making a positive difference. See, they want you to just sit down and just take it. And that's not something you have to do. That's what they're used to. They're used to being in their cliques, being in their groups, treating people like dirt, and the person just laying down, lying down and accepting it, not having no information, not having no outlet, not having nothing to say about it, just shutting up and dealing with it. No. People out here know what they're doing. They find it funny as hell what they're doing. It's hilarious to them. But it's going to be even funnier to you when you use it to your advantage. When you use it to become better instead of using it to become bitter. Don't allow them to make you bitter. Allow them to make you better. Become your greatest version. Put, do things for yourself in life that will allow you to alleviate the situations they're trying to make you experience. Create you a business. Go hard. Study. Learn. Read. See yourself somewhere else in life. And that's another thing. Stop seeing yourself having to go through what the people who want you to go through something are putting you through. Stop seeing yourself a as the one who has to go through it. That's another uh, a pro that's going to have that's another thing that's going to have a profound effect on your life. So, yo, know, you you are a creative person. You are someone that people learn from. You got a lot of love for people. You're a sharer, you're a carer, a giver. You know, you're all these great things and, and people see these things and it upsets them. You know, your qualities, your traits, Everything that's, that's good about you that gives people the warm and fuzzy feeling. The enemies, they can't stand that. You know, they're mad it's not them. So they have to try to um, program you with the hater spirit that they have. So that way, you know, it, it's, it's love for love. But just from a, a, it'll just be in the form of hate. That's what they're trying to get. They, they, the, 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 the hate. The love for love in the form of hate is a lose-lose situation. You're not winning, and even though they aren't, because haters don't hate God, don't bless haters, all right? The fact that you're choosing to hate back, which is going to make you lose, they're satisfied with that. That's why you don't hate them back. It's a waste of time for you. You're the winner. Hate Winners don't hate. They win. Choose you. Choose you. Choose whom this day, choose ye this day whom ye, whom ye may serve. Who are you going to serve? Who are you going to serve? Subconscious. All right, you got to serve your subconscious mind. You got to serve the Lord. You got to serve the law. Got to serve the law. That means observe the law. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord means observe the law. You got to observe the law. Observe the law. That's what all those uh, Jewish scholars do. They observe the law. And I've laid out the law in this video for us. So observe it, rewind it, come back, watch it. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.